Hey guys, it's Musicalus here. Sorry if I'm a little bit quieter than usual. My parents are sleeping upstairs, so yeah, I gotta be a little quieter. But, um, uh, I'm here back with another interview clues. Clues where we interview various people on the internet and talk about their hobbies and what they do, love to do. And today, because it is, is uh, doing us, uh, uh, summer games down quick, Quick, uh, this week, uh, I actually have a speedrunner who has done some of his games down quick, and, um, it has done speedrunning in general, so why don't you introduce yourself? Hey, my name is Sals Boslip, um, I've been a speedrunner uh, for quite a few years now, and, um, I've been involved with games down quick for a little bit less than that, but still quite a while. <laughs> I see, I see. Well, that's good. Good to hear. So, um, uh, let's talk a little bit about your speedrunning history. So, uh, why don't you start speedrunning? What inspired you to speedrun? So, I first, uh, started hearing about speedrunning when I was in high school. Um, so this was about 2012-ish, give or take, just at the end of high school. Um, I was in there procrastinating on my schoolwork, of course, um, and I stumbled on a really old speedrun of Majora's Mask, um, which is uh, coincidentally my favorite video game of all time. Um, and there were a lot of strats in there. There was a lot of um, commentary, which actually wasn't that common for YouTube speedruns, at least at that time. So it was a really interesting thing to watch. And I think I must've watched that run about 10 times um from from there i decided that i wanted to try some of the strats in that run in particular um and yeah that started my love for speed running with majora's mask there well that's good to hear that's good to hear uh so um is there any uh so uh hold on a second trying to think it's really early in the morning so my brain's not in total focus mode uh but um i w uh what uh so is there any game anybody in particular that also inspired you to speed run run or keep pushing to speed run run like is there anybody in particular that you look up to definitely um so as i mentioned i saw those first few runs um but the person who really got me into speed running fully um and also introduced me to games done quick as well it was actually zfg um so he's more of an ocarina of time speedrunner but he does uh dabble in majora's mask as well um and he was actually his 2014 uh majora's mask run at games done quick that actually sort of catapulted me into it um at the beginning, I was more just testing out little strats, doing a few little, little things here and there, uh, but it was actually watching that run in full that got me into actually completing full runs. Wow. That sounds like an amazing... Uh, that sounds like he's an amazing speedrunner. I think I may have watched that one in particular, but there's so many runs of games done quick that happened that I, <laughs> I've lost track. So I had to look... <laughs> <laughs> so I'll have to look back and see, but he sounds like an amazing speedrunner. He really is. Um, ZFG, he's done so much work in the Zelda community, especially for Ocarina of Time. Um, he's currently the world record holder in quite a few categories there. Um, and he has done so much work in developing strats. Um, and he's been around forever, so looking through the history of Ocarina of Time, he's been around since about 2004, from what I could tell, but that's probably early, he's probably been around earlier as well, so a really good influence there, um, and he is super welcoming to new runners, which definitely helped me when I was first starting out. Well, that... That, that sounds uh, great, then I will leave a link in the description below, below to his speed one once I find it, because find it, I've probably got to go through the Games Done Quick, quick uh, YouTube channel to <laughs> search for it. Uh, but, um, uh, so, uh, speaking of Games Done Quick, so what is your history with Games Done Quick, and when did you start helping out or speed running at it? So, I first started watching 2014 with that uh, one particular run of CFGs, um, but I started watching live pretty much that year as well. Um, so, 
from 2014, 2015, I was watching it live, donating, um, and then in 2017, I actually got the chance to volunteer with Games Not Quick. Uh, so I volunteer uh, as a social media as a social media volunteer, uh, which has been a really rewarding experience. Um, it just means I can give back to the community at whole, and I've been doing it ever since. Well, that's great. Great to hear, that's great to hear. And you probably see my tweets on Twitter sometimes. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> well, I'll, uh, you d do a great job uh, being a social media manager when you are out there, so I just wanted to give you a big shout out. Thank you for doing such a good job out there. So much, it means a lot. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, but um, now I was wondering what are your favorite games to play or and or speedrun? Um, so in terms of speedrunning, I do focus a lot on the Zeldas, so um, Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, A Link to the Past. Um, but I'm also um, working on putting together some runs for E.T. for the Atari, uh, which is known as one of the worst video games ever to exist and almost caused the crash of the uh, video, market, video game market industry. Um, but it makes for a very short yet very interesting run, which is solely reliant on R RNG. Um, but it's something that I've been working on. It's just a matter of getting all the hardware together to stream it. <laughs> I can imagine. Get to is when you said it has RNG involved, which always can be a ble which is a blessing or a curse, depending on the speed exactly. run. Exactly. Um, other than that, I did do I did dabble a little bit in the Splatoon universe for a little bit, um, and casually, I'm actually working on running through all of the Zelda games on their original consoles, just as a casual playthrough. Um, and I also did dabble in just awful games in general. I really love traditionally awful games, so I really do enjoy that. Awful games, huh? Hmm. Uh, I have a quite a few that you might be interested in then later. <laughs> but uh, uh, in that case, what has been your favorite game to speedrun? My favorite? Um, ooh, uh, I'm going to say A Link to the Past really did uh, put, some, uh, put a sense of... Um, accomplishment in there for me which is always a highlight um sometimes it feels like when you're speed running you're grinding and grinding and you don't really get anywhere but a link to the past brought my first sense of achievement um so there is a category which is um not considered a mainstream category by any means but you can actually finish the game in under three minutes um and i think that was the first run that i actually completed on a public stage it wasn't at a GDQ or anything, but it was at a um, local sort of uh, LAN party where we actually did uh, broadcast speedruns as well. So I finished that on, my, on a public stage for the first time, and that was just an amazing feeling. Oh, I can imagine. I can imagine. 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 Well, uh, I know this is probably a little late, but congratulations on being that run. That I know for a fact that the classic games, especially actually from the NES and Super NES, aren't easy to beat. Being in terms of speed run, and the glitches can tend to be a little bit stubborn, per se. So, oh, definitely. <laughs> so, uh, uh, good job with that one. Uh, is there any game in particular that you would like to speed run in the future? So I'm always looking towards new games. Um, there are quite a few at the moment that I am contemplating looking at. Um, so there's Detroit Become Human for the uh, PlayStation and P uh, PC, uh, which I would be very interested in running. There's quite a few different categories there, and I'm hoping to sort of move into making a few more categories there as well. Um, other than that, there are a few games that don't really have a huge following in terms of speedrunning. Um, so the Dragon Quest Builder series, it's a mix of everything you love about Dragon Quest and everything you might not love about Minecraft. Um, casually, it's an amazing... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I know about Dragon Quest Builders. Builders did, that one just launched on Xbox Game Pass literally two months ago. So... 
Yeah, I would definitely love to see that. It's definitely something I'd be interested in uh, doing. <laughs> that, that, that would be an interesting speedrun, I won't, won't lie. I definitely tune in for, to that for sure. Uh, any other games? <laughs> Super Mario 64, popular, popular and interesting choice. Uh, um, okay, now here's some questions about your, uh, how speedrunning has been for you. So what has been your hardest thing to pull off in the speedrun, personally? Hardest thing? That's a really good question. Um, so in terms of the actual game itself, um, I think my hardest thing to ever pull off in a speed run was probably the first ever glitch that I, uh, the first ever beach glitch that I did. Um, so in Majora's Mask, you can, um, use the fairy fountains. There's four potential fairy fountains in the game, five if you include the one in Clock Town, um, and they're all connected on the same map. So by going out of bounds on that map, you can actually end up going to different places in the, uh, different places in the world by uh, sort of jumping through those different fairy fountains and you will exit out of one fairy fountain that you didn't necessarily exit into. Um, it's a lot of really precise jumping, mega flips, um, bump hovering, all that kind of stuff. It was a really big breakthrough for me and it's not necessarily the most impressive glitch in the Majora's Mask community now, um, but for me it was just that minor victory of being able to actually do that. Oh, that sounds like a headache and a half. I've seen how uh, awkward any time in Majora's Mask glitches are, and oh, <laughs> I don't think I could pull off half of those, those even if I had the skill. Sheesh. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely say that is definitely a major mark on your list. That's really good. Anything else that you think has been hard for you in terms of speed... Oh, <coughs> sorry. Speed running? Me and my uh, me and my fellow media maniac Ethan N and, and are always looking for retro games. We start just started collecting those ourselves like last year, so it's been a long road for us too. So I definitely know how it feels to try to find those games in good condition, because there's nothing worse than finding a game, uh, buying a game and finding out that it doesn't even work. <laughs> Okay, let me see. I'm trying to think here. Ah, so is there any so um is there any games you're looking forward to in the future in terms of upcoming stuff? Like, were there any announcements at E3 or anything and anything that you're look, definitely looking forward to? Yeah, definitely. So, um, Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword HD is coming out um, in ten days, actually. Um, and I'm very excited to see how it holds up to the original. There's quite a few glitches in the original Skyward Sword that are, are pretty much defining moments of the run. Um, so there's a um, game, yeah, there's a glitch called Back in Time, where you basically use the menu screen 
as a means of getting different items or getting different progress, uh, like getting your progress through the game. Um, so it's really exciting to see if that glitch will still hold up in the HD re-release um, and whether or not some of the same routing will, they will take place in that. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it's Breath of the Wild 2. Um, very excited uh, to see what else comes up in the Dragon Quest series. Um, other than that, it's just a lot of waiting and hoping that more good things come out. Well, that's good. Good to hear. I'm interested to see about the Back in Time glitch too for the HD re-release, because I know for a fact that that's a big defining moment for Skyward so, so or especially, so it would be interesting to see if Nintendo actually went out of the way and patched it this time, or if they left it in for the speedrun community. I pray, pray, hey, it's the latter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, um, yeah, and Breath of the Wild too. yeah, of course, of course, I'm looking forward to that, too, too. I hate that teaser trailer on the Nintendo Draft E3. I really want to see more of the game, but, nah, man. <laughs> so, yeah, um, let me see, let me see. Ah, uh, so in terms of game, uh, game systems that you personally own, are there any game systems that you're looking to own or that you alve already want, uh, or that you already own that you want to talk about real quick? Um, so I own pretty much almost every Nintendo console that was released in the West. Um, I think it's well established at this point that I'm a big Nintendo fan. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> So other than that, I'm really looking forward to trying to get my hands on a working Philips CDI console. Um, there's so many terrible CDI games that I can't wait to get my hands into. Um, other than that, I'm just re really looking forward to hopefully getting a PC. Currently I do have um, my laptop which has been very faithful to me over the past few years. But it's about six years old now, it's getting a bit old, my cat's broken it in a few places. so. I'm hopefully working towards getting a PC so I can sort of delve into that PC world. Oh, <laughs> I know how that, that feels. I've had my MacBook for pretty much almost a year, uh, four to five years now, and it started to show its age, so I need to get a new one ASAP. I know how that feels. But uh, definitely, I can't wait to see what you will possibly do when you get your hands on that PC. There's definitely... A, Definitely a lot of other games on there as well. I think you would definitely fit the speed run. Definitely, I'm so looking forward to having that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Well, okay. Um, is there any shoutouts do you want to give real quick before we close this out? Yeah. Um, I just want to give a shout out to my friend Gabs. Um, she's stayed up with me so many times to watch uh, runs with me to go through strats, um, to watch GDQ with me, so big shout outs to her, um, I owe her a lot. Um, and the other big shout out I want to give to is to ZFG, who I did mention at the beginning of the uh, interview. He has been the, one of the sole inspirations for um, me speedrunning, um, and he's so welcoming. I have him on, uh, I follow him on Twitch, and I watch his streams, and he answers all sorts of questions that I could possibly come up with, even if it's, you know, why do you chop grass there? Why do you buy a bomb here? Any sort of really mundane, dumb questions he's always happy to help with. Um, so I just want to give him a big thanks um, for, you know, inspiring me to get into this amazing community. Um, and last but not least, I want to give a shout out to those two people who uploaded that run onto YouTube so many, so many years ago that actually showed me what community, like there was a community for this. Um, I have no idea who they are. I could never find their video ever again, um, but I just want to give them a big shout out and hopefully if they ever want to find it, ever want to read this, see this interview or if they ever happen to upload a new video or if I ever happen to find it again, um, I just want to let them know thank you because this is a life-altering change and it's for the better. Ah, oh, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear, hear that. Those are some very great shout-outs. Um, so where can uh, where can uh, the fans find find you in case they want to follow you? Of course. So um, my Twitch is EJ Arenji, uh, which 
which is just a funny little uh, funny little inside joke of my own name. Um, they can also find me on Twitter at uh, Sal's underscore was live. All right, all right, that uh, that sounds good. Well, thank you again, again for uh, joining us for this interview. I really appreciate it. I honestly, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I personally th think you are one of the uh, one of the nicest people I've had for an interview. You and I think you're very sweet as well. So thank you once again for agreeing to take some time out of your day to do this with me. I'm so glad that I could talk to you today. Oh, it's no problem. Well, that's all for this interview, guys. I'll leave a link in the description below to everything we talked about. Uh, every, everything that we talked about. That I, I will give a link, obviously. Um, and, yeah, that's all for now. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And be sure to follow all our... Um, sorry. What's your name again? <laughs> Sally. Ah, uh, Sally, uh, Sally, Ellie on all social medias as well. Well, it's really appreciated, and um, yeah. If you're currently watching games done quick, quick, as I am gonna get this video up by tonight, uh, by tomorrow, uh, today. A, eh? so um, yeah. If you're watching games done quick, I'll leave a link in the description below to games done quick is Twitch and Twitter, so you guys can watch it. There's some pretty amazing speed runs going on, on, and you definitely don't want to miss it for a good cause cause and I really appreciate it and I'm pretty sure Sal would really appreciate it if you watch it. Watch it for sure but that uh, but yeah that is all for now this is yours truly Music Clues of the Media Maniacs signing out and I'll see you later bye <laughs>